Hi there, today we're gonna make a pillow cover, and here's my inspiration pillow that we're gonna end up covering. You've probably seen on social media some of the uh, sweatshirts that have Christmas trees across the front. Well, I decided I like that look, but I'm gonna do it on a pillow cover instead. So how did I decide to, or where to get my Christmas trees from my designs, one great place is a craft book that I had. So I just started thumbing through it, looking for Christmas trees. Then I had to decide what was I going to use as my background fabric and then as my Christmas tree fabric. So I had some denim and I'm going to use that as my background. And then I found some scraps of fabric of different colors and I'm going to use those as my trees. Now this particular one even has another pattern on it but my trees are going to be small so they can probably be cut out of this green and red and black and gold fabric and then some red also. So I'll show you how to trace your patterns to get the Christmas tree and then we will start cutting them out and using our dimensions. And also talking about dimensions, my pillow is 18 inches from end to end and 12 inches top to bottom. So the instructions that I got when I tried this the first time was you cut one panel that is the size of your front and then for your back, cut the length plus three inches though and then cut from here, the top to bottom, which would be 12, but because you have to allow for your seam allowance, you need to add at least a half an inch so that you can have at least a quarter inch seam allowance on all sides. So we're gonna get started and see how that works. All right, so I found the tree pattern here in my book and it's outlined in a yellow gold. And I have a light box you could make a light box from a pane of glass and um, a lamp or something underneath. But you just lay your image down and then your piece of paper on top of it. And I've just got a pencil that I'm tracing with. But that's how you trace a tree. And I'll be cutting them out and uh, tracing them onto my fabric. And then we will start cutting out trees. So we've got our trees cut out here in various shapes and sizes. And as I'm looking at them, I think I may also find some brown to use as the, the trunks of the tree also. So there's part of it. Now to trace these trees on some of the fabric. I'm gonna trace them on the back side of the fabric and I'm pressing rather hard with my pencil and exaggerating it a bit also and there's the tree drawn out so let me go ahead and cut it There's tree number one. So I'll go ahead and finish cutting the rest of them. And there's tree number two.
here's my trees with my patterns. So now I just need to uh, end up cutting the, uh, the denim the size that I want and then we'll, we'll, we'll move on over to the sewing machine. So I made a decision on how to cut my, my denim fabric. I decided I'm going to use it for the front and for the back. So I needed at least 18 inches to cover from side to side. Then I need it to fold over, but also to overlap each other on the back side. Now since there's no seam allowances on this, I could do the 18 inches, and then I added another 14 for this overlap and 14 for this overlap. And then I'll just flip under those loose edges and um, sew a small hem because you have to have a way to stick the pillow inside the cover and then I'll make it uh, 12 and a half inches this way so that I can have my seam allowances. So let's get that cut. So now just for fun let's pretend we're going to put it on the pillow. So that we can lay our trees out just to see what they'll look like. After looking at those trees, I may want to cut a few more. I'm not sure, but I do kind of like those few trees also. So I'll just leave it with them and I need to find some brown fabric to put the uh, tree trunks on it. So off to look for some brown. Well, success, I found some brown fabric. So I'm just going to cut some little stems here. And there's our tree trunks. Okay, I've started sewing my tree trunk on and I'm just doing a straight stitch. I'm using some blue thread just for contrast and I'm going around my trees and when I get to a corner I have to raise my presser my foot up so that I can pivot it but always leave the needle in the fabric as you're twi as you're turning the, the the fabric so Now I finished that one tree, I can lift it. I'm not gonna cut my threads off, but I am just gonna move it over to the next tree. Okay, now to sew on the tree trunks. We'll just use the blue thread for them also. I'll end up going back and cutting my strings. Here's the little forest for starters. So the next thing I need to do is sew these under for a little bitty hem. I could go and press it, but I'm not that concerned about it. So I'm just folding it under and then folding it under again. Okay, so I got that, got the ends hemmed. I marked them with a pen at 18 inch. That way I know how far to fold that edge in and how far to fold that edge in. So all I have to do is sew a seam at one edge and then a seam at the other and then I flip it inside out and hopefully it will work right.
All right, here's hoping that it's correct. So far, so good. There's the pillow top. Let me trim these threads. And then we will attempt to put the, the pillow inside it. Hopefully it will fit. And it really doesn't matter which side you put in first or last. Or the front or the back, I mean. So hopefully it's going to go in here. Wish it down. fill it in. And it really doesn't matter that it's super duper fitted in there or not, but here is the pillow. And I think it turned out pretty cute. So thanks for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. And we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel. Thanks.